Hey everybody, the Angry Canuck coming to you from Nova Scotia, Canada. The Angry Canuck on YouTube. You are watching TJV, Chuck or Josh Vlogs. Bit of a windy day out here today. Thanks. I guess I won't be burning anything today. That's fine, I got a lot of other work to do. I want to pull a lot of deadfall out of the bush and start cutting it up. Got a lot to do. And halfway through the day at 2.30, this is not quite halfway, but around 2.30 p.m. today, we have to take all the dogs in for their shots. So that should take uh, an hour, hour and a half or so. to run them into Steinbach and run back home. And then continue on with our trying to clean up something, trying to make a visible difference to be working over there today. Yep, definitely too windy to burn. So I'm gonna get my pickup out of the garage here and uh, I'm gonna go to work over here. This is what I got done yesterday. I ripped off all of this, the front of this. I'm gonna take this, excuse the wind noise. I'm gonna take this whole thing down. You can see here, it's starting to cave in already. Anytime it's gonna fall in. And we don't use this for anything. I was telling you yesterday that the previous owner used to use this as a little indoor hut, I guess, for her dogs. And there was a dog run on the outside. It probably looked really nice when it was just completed, but it's rotted and it's falling apart. It's more of an eyesore than anything. And so this is my goal and my project for this summer to at least get this all torn down and burnt. Uh, some of these are still pretty good, in pretty good shape. I could probably reuse these. Maybe I'll save some of those, those two by fours, but Majority of this needs to go into Zafaya. This is where our groundhog Poppy lives, or one of her entrances to her network of underground caverns. There's a hole there and a hole there. We're trying to get her. We have a live trap over here. Still haven't managed to get her, but I'm going to be cutting up this tree here today. This is an old goat pen that they used. Uh, they used to have goats here. So this is all coming down and going in the fire as well. I mean, it was probably very nice at one point. Now it'll make good bonfire. Uh, there's a tree that fell down on top of it over here. That I wanna pull down today. I'm probably gonna hook my uh, tow rope or something onto this end of the tree here hook the other end onto my pickup and just pull it down off of there. All this stuff is coming down anyway, so I don't care if it gets damaged. So first things first, I gotta clear out what I don't need in here. So I'm gonna be loading this up with wood. So all of this stuff, I don't need. The jerry cans, there's my chainsaw, I'm gonna need that. This stuff can just go on the shelf here. Let's load this thing up. And then the log splitter that we got is uh, it's over around the front. Show you guys real quick. Probably drag that to the back somewhere. Here it is. It's got a stand and everything on wheels. So I can just roll it to wherever we need it. Split all the wood. Stack it up neatly by the fire pit in the back. And I believe we're going to be bringing our friends over some today as well. Because we got way more than enough for ourselves so we're just trying to get rid of our firewood to our friends and family <laughs> not gonna need all of this stuff right now uh, this is actually fuel for the chainsaw that i will need oil for the chainsaw a big box of stuff I'll stay here for now uh, what else uh, i don't really need my chain you know i can come to the garage to fill up my chainsaw too uh, i will leave it here because i don't have all this stuff in my my bed and my pickup. Something's leaking. Is there some gas leaking here? Oh, I didn't. No, that's all closed. Yeah, this thing's not sealing properly. Good to know. Good to know. Good thing that that was in the the box of the pickup, not in the cab of the pickup. And then we're gonna go cut some trees. Don't wanna forget that anymore. And this 
is how you pull deadfall out of the bush. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it up right here, separate this metal stuff that got tangled up in it. Cut her up for some good firewood. Before any of you start leaving comments, I'm gonna go get my safety glasses. There you go. Now you're all happy, right? Got my steel toe boots on. up this tree here and then we're gonna take it over there to split it once it's split we'll put it back on the truck and then we'll take it to the backyard we got the master log splitter here it's a power tool that I can use but I won't get hurt using because I know how to use it properly and it's easy <laughs> plus I can be helpful then uh oh it's stuck okay let's try that again That was like that middle one. Yeah. And always watch your feet for falling logs. Always stand behind it. <laughs> or wear steel toes. For that. We got the next tree pulled out. I'll start cutting this up while Britt is over there splitting it all into firewood. This one I thought was a lot bigger. It looked a lot bigger when it was on top of that roof over there, but now it looks a lot better without that there already. Frankie, you ready to go get some shots? Gonna go take some shots? Get some shots? Take some Are shots? You ready? <laughs> you excited? I'm gonna go see the doctor. And we got the big guys back here. We got Diesel and the chicken. Who's scared of the pickup truck? <laughs> He's okay in Britt's vehicle. Yeah, always. But apparently, no problem. Apparently, in this vehicle, though, he's scared. He just sits on the floor. <laughs> you guys ready to go get some shots? Go see the doctor? Huh? Yeah? The perfect shot. Get the perfect shot. It's hard to with him. Behind the scenes. Can you stay. Can you stay. Behind the scenes on Brit's beat. Clean all the boogies out of his eyes. Go subscribe down below. The link to her channel is in the description. Even had chicken-free treats. Oh, did you get treats in there? I don't Frankie treats. Oh, I did. They were so good. Diesel. Where's Diesel? Yeah. Hey. Everybody got a clean bill of health. These two guys are a little bit chunky. They need to lose five pounds each. This guy needs to lose about a half pound, I think, right? Yeah, but she's not too worried about it. So I can't sneak you any snacks when mom's not looking anymore. <gasps> Did you hear that? You tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> you looked at me like, oh, the secret's out. <laughs> cats out of the bag now. I hate cats. <laughs> there was a kitten in there that hissed at him. Yeah. <laughs> he was just heartbroken. They don't want to be my friend. But it was a clean bill of health for all of them. Other than that, they got their shots. They're all up to date. It was a lot less expensive than we were thinking it would be. And a lot, lot, lot less expensive than past visits have been. A so lot was... of past visits. And they were all pretty calm too. Diesel's usually pretty high strung in the vet. And if you take him out in public, very anxious. He's can't really control himself that bad and he did all right chevy was a champion of course yeah and frankie wasn't even that squirmy frankie needs his teeth done again and he's got some arthritis in his right rear leg that we already knew about but it's not bad so nothing to be concerned with yeah. now it's time to go home and continue working tomorrow afternoon i have to leave towards calgary apparently they were able to add some freight onto my load but i have to go there early enough tomorrow to tarp it yet so whatever it is I have to tarp that second piece yet. It can't be that big. There was only half a trailer left. 
Hopefully it's like lumber. That'd be great. Just, just a rectangle easy. box, something easy. Just wrap the box and go. I don't know what it is he wouldn't tell me yet. I don't think he did. And then you can take it easy on your poor back and neck yeah. too. It's going to Calgary as well. Okay, so everything's going to Calgary. Cool. Oh yeah. You guys been guarding the meat? You didn't touch it, did you? Good boys. Good boys. All right. Let's put this Weber to work. It's all heated up. Ready to go. You ready? Should we make some burgers? You guys did really good at the vet today. I'm really proud of you. Oh yeah, a whole barbecue. Just four patties. Oh yes. Do me well. Counting on you, Weber. Mm-hmm. I've got the goods. I've got the Come on, guys, get out of here. Come on. I got the goods, come on. Diesel, come on. Come on, come on, guys. Everybody in. Everybody in. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. This makes me wanna sing, sing a song. Me too. I would if I didn't have a tea in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I was gonna put it down right there. And got the dogs all taken care of. Got my belly taken care of. Now it's time to get back to work. Got to split all that wood over there yet, pile it in the split pile. And I've also got that tree to cut up. We're gonna go cut that tree up first. And then we got one, two, three, four dead trees to take down over here yet. And we got to start burning all of this stuff because the wind has kindly died down. Lots to do in our property all the time. Lots to do. Disclaimer for people who come to visit us, we might put you to work. Now that the wind has died down, it makes it a lot easier to clean up all the sticks. So I debranched that whole tree there and get rid of these sticks right away. <sighs> Cleans up the area a lot faster. I don't have to do that another day then. So we got some stuff done. Got those trees out of the way there and started to dismantle that lean-to like I was telling you, but time to close up this vlog. Tomorrow we're gonna be headed back out on the road. I've gotta go. Uh, they have thrown some extra freight on my trailer. I was telling you about that, right? But I have to get there tomorrow and tarp it before I leave. So uh, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Hope you join us. Don't forget to like the video. If you did like it, don't lie. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithms quite a bit. It just shows that you are engaging with it and then YouTube recommends it to other people who don't know about me yet. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is James from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with Diesel.